Welcome back gamers to the official Zap hosting YouTube channel. My name is Ellen. In today's tutorial, I will show you how you can set up your own Assetto Corsa server on Windows VPS, configure it and become an admin. So let's get started. First, I will show you how to get a Windows VPS server. If you own one already, skip the video to the provided timestamp on the screen. Now navigate to the root server bar, select VPS Hosting and then click on Windows VPS Hosting. Here you can configure server to your liking, you can change the server location, RAM, CPU cores, disk space, IP addresses, bandwidth and the operating system. Finally, select a payment method, but before you confirm your order, here is a little gift from us. 50% off voucher code, which you can use by clicking here on use voucher and typing a set of minus VPS. After you confirm your order, the server will be up in just a minute. Now click on your VPS server and wait for the server to finish the installation. Once the installation completes, navigate to the settings tab which can be found right here on the left. Here, create administrator password that you will have to use in order to log in via remote desktop app. After that, click on save. Now copy your service IP and launch the remote desktop app on your PC. Click on show options. In the computer tab, paste in the IP to your server. The username will always be administrator by default. Now click on act and type the password which is the one you defined earlier and click on ok. Once you connect to the machine successfully, you will need to import the server files. To do so, go to Steam on your PC, find the set of Corsa and right-click on it. Then, navigate to Manage and select Browse Local Files. A new window will open with your set of Corsa files. Here, select Server Folder, copy it, go back to your VPS machine and simply paste the folder on the desktop. You will now need to configure the server to your liking by replacing the config files that can be found by opening the server folder and then CFG. So for now, simply close the VPS window and navigate back to your PC set of Corsa files. Here, go to server folder and launch acserverManager.exe on your PC. Here, feel free to configure everything to your liking from the server name, server password, admin password, weather conditions, tracks, cars you want to race with and much more. But after configuring everything to liking, click on save and then export the configuration files to your PC. For example, I will save them on my desktop. Now select the exported files, copy them, navigate back to your VPS machine. Here simply paste the new files and click on replace. Before starting the server, you will need to port forward, and this process is really simple with a script we have created. Search for Windows Powerful on your VPS machine and run it as administrator. A new window will open, so simply paste in the following command that you will find in the video description and press on enter. All the needed ports will now be unlocked for your server to appear online and others to join. Now feel free to close the window and start the server by double-clicking on the file called acserver.exe and wait for the server to come online, which can take a couple of minutes. Once the server is online, launch a set of Corsa on your PC. In the game, select main menu, then click on drive and navigate to online servers. Here, simply search for a server, select it, type the password if you defined one earlier, select a car and then click on join. As you can see, you have now successfully logged in into your own set of Corsa server. If you wish to become an admin on the server, in the chat box simply write slash, leave a space and then type the password that you defined earlier creating your configuration. And here you go, enjoy racing with your friends on your own set of Corsa server. If you have any questions, you can contact our support by creating a ticket on our website or live chat and we will be more than happy to help you out. Now have a lovely rest of the week and enjoy playing on your Zap server.